In the practice of shamanism, we look at illness from a spiritual perspective. And so it really doesn't matter if a, a client or a patient is, has a complaint that's manifesting on a physical illness type of level or on an emotional level. In shamanism, we go into an altered state of consciousness and we consult with the spirits. That's one of the beauties of the work. You don't have to go, oh, I wonder what this is going to be. Um, you actually, it's up to the spirits to be able to uh, share with um, the shamanic practitioner what they perceive is going on. And it's not, um, for, I think from a classical shamanic point of view, shamans believe that the spirits had all this power that humankind does not have. I can only speak from my evolution of consciousness that I really feel that we're spirits and that we have as much power as the spirits do. It's just that because they don't have bodies, they can look down on the human condition and they have a different perspective. A friend of mine who's a brilliant shamanic practitioner and teacher has this wonderful analogy. She talks about being at a, a baseball game and that we're the players on the field and that the spirits are sitting in the bleachers and they can look down and go, don't, don't you see what's happening? Don't run this way or, you know, they, they just can look down on the human condition and give us some guidance. It doesn't mean that they necessarily have more power than we do, but they have a different perspective. And so when a client shows up to see a shaman, the shaman would immediately go to the spirits and say, this is the complaint. What is the spiritual diagnosis of what's going on? And there are a few different spiritual diagnoses that might come back that, um, that are part of the shamanic worldview. Um, there might be many different ceremonies to deal with the same diagnosis. And so one of the beauties is that the spirits can give um, one of a hundred different ceremonies to bring back, but there are actually uh, particular classifications of illness that fall into um, uh, to fall into what uh, shamans work with from a spiritual perspective. Uh, one would be what we call a loss of power where a guardian spirit, it's believed from a shamanic point of view that where 